built into it. It's kind of fun. Nice. Let's do the intro real fast. Cool. Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals. This is Paul Acevedo. Welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I am joined on mic by Tyler and Bob. Hello. Howdy. And we are going to play some Slay Away Camp Butcher's Cut for Xbox One. It is also available on PlayStation 4, and it is on PC, although it's not called Butcher's Cut there. So. And it's on sale on PS4 and I think also Xbox. Oh, nice. And I think it's on mobile as well, I would guess. It yeah. plays like a mobile game anyway, so I guess it's on oh, devices. Oh, now Alejandro is playing Earth Defense Force 4.1, probably instead of watching us. <sighs> Alejandro. Oh, yeah, that Last Alejandro. night we were supposed to play, and uh, and he stood me up. So, that was a dream. Aww. Yeah. Man, my nose is itching. I hate He's that. a heartbreaker. How much is 4.1? Is it so, like, new? Like, 60? Uh, you can get a retail copy from Amazon for 20 I know that much. Oh, yeah. that. Okay. Um, so what is... These are the level names? Okay, yeah. We're just... Uh, yeah, we're just starting at the are. beginning. Hopefully it won't take very long to get through. You guys have both played the game, so you know how it works. And man, my nose is just itching like crazy. That is so annoying. As soon as the stream starts. They thought camp would be fun. Oh, you must have played this a little bit or something. I don't know why I took you to that menu, but... Yes, I completed the whole first episode. First movie. Ah, uh, okay. I like the little guys, they're they cute. Are. Uh, I feel sad every time <laughs> they die. Oh. Yeah, I hope I hope only good things happen to them. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you can't... Uh, there is, like, a non-violent mode. Yeah, I saw that. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah I changed <laughs> my... The exit portal, you can change it to a face of a kitty cat, so that's what I did. Yeah, the uh, the menu itself is very strange. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to understand. Even, like, the like the option menus is weird. I do feel like the Kenny D flute music is better than the actual music on the Rated R version. Yeah. I don't know how to turn that back on, though. Hey, hey, Adam. Welcome oh, to stream. Oh, yeah, Adam. I don't know. Feeling better? I know he's... Oh, yeah. Didn't he have a... Was it a... Bad case of the clap. I uh, wouldn't know. Yeah. Hey, Lofra. He was going on and on about it. I thought. <laughs> See, ah, right in the face. How cheese is right. Yeah, yo, Lofra. Dinner is ruined. I wonder why that would be. It's interesting that you still have to exit after you complete the kill. Is that good or bad, Tyler? Yeah, it's it's part of the puzzle. Music is scary. Yeah, the level I'm now I can get to the exit, but I can kill everybody. Yeah, some levels are more you know based on kill everyone, and then the exit is easy to get to. And other times, like the, the puzzle is built around killing the people in the right order, so you actually have access to the exit. Uh, axed. You're probably on that one mob where, like, there's like two or three different things you have to you can knock over, and then if you knock over the one that's in front of the exit, then you have to start over. I remember that I was stuck on that one for a long time. Amazing. So you get bonus money sometimes if you do the little mini game. Oh, okay, a little fryer. Yeah. Don't worry, little fryer. Taco Bell is getting over twenty items to their dollar menu. <laughs> Wendy's got rid of their dollar menu. Why would they do that? They've got rid of it for yeah. a while. Yeah, and they don't have anything really for a buck. I mean, it's I mean, it's not like end of the world. A lot of stuff's like a buck fifty or stuff like that. So, but there's not a lot. McDonald's the same way. There's almost nothing for a dollar available at McDonald's anymore. What a shame. Well, they they changed their dollar menu at McDonald's, so they updated. Yeah, our it. McDonald's has four piece nuggets for a dollar. That's a nice little thing just to add on whenever you get something different. Yeah, I think they have for. Two for three dollars, you can get two six piece nuggets. Yeah, I mean, the dollar menu is hard because of inflation. You know, they, they have to pay employees slightly more over time, etc. So, a dollar, they get less profit from the single dollar. Yeah, I agree with you, little fryer. I didn't want the, I mean, the fries were okay, but I, not, the drink wasn't worth it. Yeah, I like Wendy's fries a lot. I don't get drinks when I go out either because I have soda at home to drink. Um, yeah, yeah, but, but the fries are good. Better. 
Yeah, but you can go to a gas station and get a fountain drink for way that cheaper. That is true. Like, Whataburger, which is a great restaurant, mostly found in Texas, their fountain drinks are like 250 for a large, and, you know, that is a lot. Yeah, but if you get them in the 4 for 4 combo, they're not that expensive. Yeah, but they give you like a small... Boy, I'm screwing this Small drink. Does it matter how many moves you do? Only on certain levels. It'll tell you, but other than that, no. Yeah, usually there's not a restriction. Why are you running? Oh, that's why. Yeah, so that, that's another little piece of the puzzle, is that like they go running if you like, get to the block next to them. Oh yeah, a lot of people like uh, Polar Pop Light Speed. I like Thornton's because they let you have cleaver like shots in there, so you can get cherry. What did did Little Fire say something bad, or is Brian being trigger finger itchy? Little Fire was talking bad about uh, steak oh, and shake. Yeah. Oh, he said the f bomb. Dang oh, I don't. Fire? No. Uh, I think I just messed this one up. Yeah. Uh, stuck. Rewind. Okay, let's do that. Icky had a taco and a quesadilla, a quesadilla <laughs> and chili. <laughs> that sounds good. Quesadilla. Uh, yeah. Liter literally the exact same gameplay as Harvest Moon. This is basically Harvest Moon 2. It reminds me a lot of Hitman Go, where it's, there's always like a solution. Like If you don't do it right, you just go to a different direction. And just keep the like, trial and yeah, error. Like, I enjoyed Hitman Go when it, was, when it was early on, but when it gets hard, it's just not scary anymore. Yeah, Hitman goes a pain. I stopped playing it too. I need to I finish it. it too guy. rough. Because there's only a certain number of moves you can do, so I just kind of eliminated what you can't do. I mean, that is true. Like that. Like that easy, but it was. I mean, I get what you mean. Like, it's boring having to do that, but it wasn't too bad. Does the, fire, does the fire hurt you too? Sure does. Yeah, do that. But yeah everything will hurt you. Oh, you there you go. Achievement. Oh, you probably already got yeah. that achievement. Well, Hitman goes is a lot different than a normal Hitman game, Low Fire. Um, but uh, Hitman, I I've only played the new Hitman, and I didn't really dig it. I liked what I played of it, except oh, I mean, it's very time-consuming. Yeah, I like the concept that there's so many ways to do different things, but it's all still built around like annoying stealth which is like just drives me nuts when I get when I get spotted and I don't feel like I should be <laughs> yeah oh it's like oh they have they have all the PS3 remakes and all that stuff so I need to play oh, them yeah, but great. there's there's whole lots of games I need to play that would be a really clever mobile game just call your game hit mango and it's like you know somehow a parody or whatever yeah. Uh, Six turns left. This is where it gets hard. Why is he thinking of trophies? I find those. I think when there's a limited number of turns, that's when it gets kind of easier. Once you get past six, <laughs> I don't see how that could be easier. That's because yeah, if, you, yeah. if you have an unlimited number of turns, you could be going on for maybe the solution needs like twenty turns. So you have all those different trial and errors you have to do. But when you know it's only six, it's like, all right, this path didn't work. Let's try a different one. Yeah, Icky, you've got the pronunciation mostly right. I mean, there's there's accents that say it exactly like that. Mostly in Spanish, it's how Will Fire typed it, quesadilla. Yeah, it's it's quesadilla. And I mean, like, if anybody ever said quesadilla to me, I would just slap him right in the face. <laughs> Yeah, there's quesadilla. no one who doesn't know that it's quesadilla in Texas, at least. Maybe it's different in other places. Yeah. Um, okay, so going straight at him doesn't work. Wait. Yeah, Napoleon Dynamite's hilarious. Boy. No, you have to go straight at him. There's just no other way. Oh, and if you want to kill people, there is a mode where you can just kill people without the really? pistols. Oh, there is? I didn't check that it's, out. Well, you know funny. that the mini game at the end of the levels where you have to press A and the, the red? There's a mode where it's just endless of that. Is there an achievement for it? Yes, there's multiple achievements wow. for it. Oh, yeah. Um, is that unlocked already? I thought you had to like beat the game to get that unlocked. That's unlocked from the beginning. 
I don't know if it was unlocked in the beginning, but it was unlocked really early on. Okay. It's the Faces of Death 3. I think. Hmm. Or Faces of Killed 3. It's based off the movie Faces of Death. <laughs> Pico de Gallo. Ah. Yeah. That's funny. A little fire said his mom ordered that once and he almost left in shame. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. It's like you can knock people down a hole too. Feeling down. Oh, how sad. Hey, Jay Brones. Yo, Jay Brones. I see him. You? Simu's here. Good to see you guys. Uh, yeah, it does not. That makes me sad that the Mixer kids didn't show up. It is interesting how like we moved back to Twitch and a few of the guys that we lost during the move to Mixer, or, like, just no problem coming right back, but I think that's interesting. And you did find a lot of people on, on Mixer, you know, being the connected to Microsoft and everything, but there were a few people that just didn't make that migration. Yeah, that is true. But it wasn't. Yeah, and then there was Yup84 who showed up and just complains about Twitch a bunch. Just like, Yup, you weren't watching when we were on Mixer, dude. New Killer Unleashed, Maskless <laughs> Skullface. Pico de Gallo is like a salsa, so it has chopped up tomato and onions and cilantro and I don't know if there's it's anything gross. else in there. It's, it is not gross. It's delicious. <laughs> sure don't don't like it. uh, yeah. Really? You don't like, like tomatoes? Uh, I don't like it because of the onions and the cilantro. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, and I like onions and cilantro, and I don't really like tomato, but I like the rest of it it's enough. Interesting, you get a movie credits roll when you die. Yeah, it's all it's odd. I was like, <laughs> what is happening? Hey, Mace, welcome Yo, to the stream. Maze is here. Good to see you, Maze. How'd you end up being off today, dude? Oh, oh how do you? Yeah, jalapeno too inside of it. That's right, Chicago. Yes. And I mean, you can add other things. <gasps> If you want, but that's kind of what it is. It's kind of like just a salsa that has other veggies in it instead of being very tomato based and pepper, or, uh, tomato and yeah, like pepper based or whatever. Gee, man. Yeah, I don't love onions, period. You know, I just don't like onions. But I think it's the cilantro in particular that grosses me out about that, about pico. Yeah. Really? I like both cilantro yeah, and onions. I know a lot of people weird. do like Onions pico, are good. I, just not me. Oh, yeah, I like cilantro. I like them in uh, like the street tacos too. Just put onion and cilantro on there, and that's it. Good. Yeah, I agree with Maze. There's nothing better than waking up in the morning and just grabbing an onion. Oh God! <laughs> just chowing <laughs> down. Your face and yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's super good for if you have a toothache too. Oh, God. Uh, what happens when you go in the water? Let's find out. Drown. You'll be, get eaten by an alligator. It was drowning, which is not as fun. Oh. Well, sometimes the people get eaten by alligators, that's pretty cool. Man, why do so many people hate cilantro? I like cilantro. I've never tried it before, I can't tell. So, it's so inoffensive to me. Well, sometimes looks can be deceiving. This guy just fell in the water and then we got out. Nice. Hey, Jesus, There are a ton of, ton of content in this game. Like variety, yeah. Like killers, uh, kills. Like I'm just going through all my kill, my gore packs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sweet. They put a lot of time and effort into it. This comes from Digerati, by the way. Digerati has been a really great supporter of the stream. So remember, if you if yeah. you don't want a copy, please consider buying it while it's on sale. It is a really cool, clever game, and Digerati is so nice to us guys. Yeah, this is nice. That's right. I was kind of nervous after I finished uh, Slay Away Camp. I thought that was... I just like beat the game already. That's scary. Oops. Yeah, no, you do have to go down. So I don't have to kill the cops? No. Oh. No. But it's fun. <laughs> of course. Yeah, you do not have to kill the cops. And once in a while you like, don't have a chance to, but most of the time you just kill them and get them out of the way. But you cannot attack them face on, right? Is that correct? Exactly right. You can yeah. slide past them, but you can't stop in front of them. Because I don't see... Yeah. On this one, guys, how do I get around? I don't even see how to get around. Um, a lot of times you just need to start over. Yeah, yeah, I think... Maybe that's it. It looks like you're in a sticky situation. 
So you have to use the uh, victim's bodies too to position yourself. That's what I call a sticky <laughs> situation. Some South Park action. Yo, Bob Jones, good to see you. Bob Jones, you need to be online more. I wanted to ask you to co-host, but you weren't online, so shame on you. Brown Meister. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um. Yeah, I give up on this one. No, I can't do that, can I? Hey, Brown Meister. Yeah, he's right. From the left. Sorry. Attack the first target from. I see. Thank you. Yes. Now I see. Boom. That's what you get, lady. Yeah, did any of you guys in the audience win this game for your Christmas present last week? Because if so, we would like to hear how you are enjoying it. Hey, Agbavna. I like it a lot better than I thought it was going to. Nice. It's yeah, very it's brutal and dark. You won it or, or Angel won it? What happened? How'd you get it? It's, it was a gift. Oh, you. I'm so nice. But, yes, you are. I like it. It's really it's creepy. It's level I'm on now, though. I don't know. Switch <laughs> codes. We don't need switch codes. Yeah. Not happening. We don't need no stinking switch codes. If we ever, like, streamed a it's switch all... game specifically, it wouldn't be hard to get switch codes. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, Switch games out. I was surprised how many games are on the store shelves for Switch. I mean, a lot of them look like crap, but there's a lot of games coming out for it already. Yeah, there's. I want to get the. They had a Zelda skin for the controller. It looked really nice for five dollars at Walmart. For the Switch controller? Yeah. Do you have the... Switch? No. Oh, yeah. Nice. Skin. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was on clearance, but I really should have got it. I don't know if I want to switch yet. Like, I, there's only like two games I really want to play on that. Yeah, me too. No, I would probably play Mario Kart, so there's three games I'd yeah, play on I it. Mean, yeah, I guess I would do three. You know Nintendo is going to keep releasing hot games every year. It's not like they're not going to do that one year or something. So. Yeah, I mean, there's always, yeah, there's always great Nintendo games on Nintendo systems. But I mean, yeah, I'm gonna wait, just wait till like, like Black Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably wait till Bayonetta three is out if I ever get one. It'll be after Bayonetta three comes out, so that's in probably at least two years away. Yeah. Once I finish my PlayStation four games, I'll, I'll move on to Switch. Although I really I don't know. I played it at a mall in Canada, and it was super fun, except for the controller being tiny. <laughs> Yeah, no, Lil Fryer, it is true that happened with the Wii U, but that's not going to happen with the Switch because it's successful and Nintendo's not going to just move on right away from it. Yeah, Nintendo did just give up entirely on the Wii U, which is not very nice to their, their small fan base, but... Oh, this one's hard. Yeah, I haven't played Splatoon, um, but I know uh, ARMS was really fun. That's one of them I played at the mall with the guy. I don't know how well the online play is, though, but the local play is really fun. really limited to me. No. Yeah, I'm not. Arms didn't do anything for me. And no, I don't think there's any way Bayonetta comes out next holiday, Bob Jones. Bayonetta 3. I don't know. I mean, it's, all we, it's just all we saw was her smile and a number hey, 3. Hey, Firelight, good to see you, Quinn. And it's being developed by Platinum. Oh, uh, boy. This one's got me stumped, too. I probably messed up at some point. How do I... Sure. Yes, Splatoon's not for me at all. I didn't. I, I played a little bit of it just in the, I I don't like multiplayer shooters of any sort, so not for me anyway. I like uh, Rocket League, but you can play that on every console. Isn't yeah. Rocket League cross-platform compatible with Xbox One? I think it is with Nintendo and Xbox and PC. I think they're all on one yeah, large system. Rad. And then PlayStation and PC are on a different large system or something. I don't know how it works with PC. Because you can still play with Steam players on PlayStation. Yeah, I think there's just like different portions of the matchmaking queue that get put together or not, maybe. Yeah. Somebody tell me what to do here, I'm not getting this. Um yeah, Odyssey, Odyssey looks great, of course. 
Ethan got the new Mario game for Christmas. This point, I gave him Knights of Azure 2 for Switch. He'll probably have to restart it from this point. Cause it's... Oh, you, you guys have a Switch? I didn't yeah, he, a Switch. Ethan was working for a while. He's not right now, but he bought a Switch when he did. Yeah, I think you need to start over. I don't see a solution on here. No, that's... When I go to the lady, I don't see a solution. Like, there's only a couple ways to go. Yeah, you definitely... Go, yeah. Is that is that the Wait, beginning spot? Yeah. How about this? But this is not gonna. So you have to go to the man. So then you just gotta rule out. Oh yeah. You can, okay, you just go. Isn't there like yeah? Isn't and then okay. isn't there an instant restart button too? So you don't have to rewind every yeah, time. Yeah, there is. Sure. Yeah, literally. Okay. We did it. I didn't need help. But I think if you do the instant restart, though, it makes you watch like a little. Trip. The main story for Mario is really easy. The new Mario is really easy. Is that what you're saying, Mace? <laughs> Zero's put in 890 hours on Deadly Premonition. <laughs> I believe it. There's no exaggeration there. Oh, man. 890 hours. There's just so much to explore and experience in that game. Yeah, no, there doesn't seem to be any downside to pushing left trigger to restart. Mario's never been crazy challenging, but it doesn't surprise me that Unless it's easy. I mean, I'm guessing some... I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I should say 3D platforming Mario, because I think Super Mario 3 is hard in a lot of places, too. Um, but, uh... Usually the post-game content, like collecting everything, gets a lot harder, and that's where you get all the challenge. Yeah, the only downside to pressing LT, Paul, is you have to watch, like, the five-second thingy. Yeah, that's annoying. But well, you right. can push A over it, but that's still oh, annoying. It shouldn't be there either. Oh, thank yeah. you for the host. Be hey, Fire, hey, Firelight. Yeah. Firelight is one of our never-winner guild members, I believe. She wasn't able to make this stream last week, but she's here this week, and that is wonderful. Seeing so complete. Yeah, guys, just a reminder, we do have a new donation goal if anybody wants to throw something our way eventually. Let's see, I guess two weeks is how long we're going to try for that, and we'll just see what happens. But I do like the idea of taking, you know, donations and putting them directly into the stream. But last week's donations for the Christmas present stuff, that was very, very helpful, and you guys were all great. Uh-oh. What's this knocking over bookcase stuff? You knock people over with bookcases. Ah. Or you knock bookcases over and can kill them. Ha! And then there's a new minigame kill. Cool. Solve within seven turns. Oh no. Uh -huh. um, so you can't scare anybody into the water, can you? Yeah, you can. In this one? Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. In this one, no. No. Oh. Well, yeah. No. Uh, I just warned that uh, they done this one, but it's not. I don't know if I would consider this game PG 13. <laughs> Only if you turn off the blood. Yeah, okay, this is violence against. Uh, humans. <laughs> yeah, you know, Mace, I have a friend in Wisconsin. Lisa gives me crap about her often enough, so I don't get to talk to her very much. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have cable, so I can't watch the football games. I could stream them, but it's not worth the effort. Ta da! Are you kidding? This is horrifying. You can have bad dreams for hours, days. Yeah, especially with the music. And... Yeah, she does have a oh. jealous streak. Do any of you people in the audience have a current significant other and then have uh, some kind of friendship with your exes? Because I. I wouldn't mind hearing how common it is to be allowed to be friends with your exes or to not be allowed to. You know, what's everybody's experience? 
Let's push this bookcase over. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, I mean, so. F oh, push it on the cop. That's what you get. <laughs> Yeah, if you once you get faces of killed unlocked, you should definitely try it out. That does sound fun. I'm doing it right now. I just had a rabbit attack somebody. A rabbit. Huh, so how do I get to this guy who's protected behind a bookcase? Um You need to whack the bookcase and it'll fall on him. From Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Mace knows them all too well. Or right. alternate. Mace, Mace has a file on all of us. Alternately, has anybody ever like dated somebody who also dated one of your friends or relatives? Because that would be kind of an interesting situation. <laughs> not enough people around to tell juicy stories, I think. Okay, uh, okay, Doctor huh. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. I realize you can get money from this um, survival mode oh, too. Nice. Actually, That's get money. So you don't want to actually go down here because if you do, there's no way to get back up, is there? Splash. Nope. Yeah. No. My. I had a girlfriend named Sarah. I don't know if I ever talked about her on the stream, but we dated a total of three times. So like, you know, she was kind of my first, like, real love. You know, not as in I was already an adult and everything. But anyway, she at one time dated this guy named Joe, and I kind of took her away from him. That would be the second time we dated. Shame on you, Yeah, Poor and then Joe. later on, like several years later, I ended up being friends with Joe, which was weird. Not like close friends, but you know, <laughs> like he's a friend of a friend, and we would we went to a concert and stuff. And it's just like, yeah, having that particular shared experience with somebody that's a lot different but because i wasn't with her at yeah, the time funny. when i was being friends with him it was less weird than it could have been poor yeah. joe <laughs> oh no poor joe uh no we did not no you know and sarah totally would have been down for those two but never did pull off such a thing with her oh there's an alligator Oh, Firelight and Chicago or know each other or together or something. What? Is that right? Oh, may you know what? I must have been thinking Firelight was somebody else. <laughs> Icky, what is what is Quinn's username here if it's not Firelight? Yeah, okay, sorry about that. Did you correct me when I said you're in our Neverwinter guild? Yeah, I, I hear that Chicago guy dated some real, some real floozies, <laughs> so I would, I would keep your eyes open. Yeah, you don't know what you, you don't know what you catch. Ah. Aww. That's a little Friday the yeah, 13th the Part 8 reference there. That was neat. But now I can't get to the exit. Yeah, this game's loaded with references, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah lots of horror. <laughs> Oh, marriage does too mean something. I see. Yeah, did Icky say what, what her username is? No, but Quinn, uh, Icky, what is Quinn's username? Yeah, Just Icky tell me, Quinn. you know what I'm talking about. You know Quinn. He needs the last name. There we go. Farewell to arms. That was rad. I think, I think you guys are just making somebody up and putting AK on the spot. Fire reader. Fire yeah, was, reader. They both have fire in the name. Yeah, you were close. <laughs> I'll, I'll, give, I'll give that to you. The confusion. That's I apologize, it. everyone. Oh, that's cold, uh -huh. Mace. So we got a park ranger guy. <laughs> Adam's using that link just to unfollow. Extra cold. Okay, 
So that wasn't it. Try again. Before the SWAT team arrives. Uh -huh. Yeah, the SWAT team got me a few times. That's not gonna work. Nope. God, come on, Paul, get this. Two. Three. And you still have to kill the ranger, right? Then left. I think you have to kill... No, oh, never mind. I always one level where you have to kill the ranger last, but I don't think that's the Oh, one. pushed over right into fire. You, I mean, even if somebody pushed you over into fire, you could just roll out of it. <laughs> Maybe he knocks the person out, too. Mate still refers to himself as a young man, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, he's not very much younger than me, I thought. X to zoom in and out. Oh, that's interesting. Can you do that in any level? Yeah, so like you can look at it top down. I think they introduced it to you on this level because there's like a hidden wall that you just wouldn't be able to see without that because of that guy's head or something. I don't remember. I didn't ever really use it, but some people I could see like it better. Oh, right onto the fire. Yep. I learned a valuable lesson from that. Uh, Mace is 31. He's younger than me as well. Probably older than Bob, though. But he, he oh, yeah. And sounds so much older. Right? Yeah. Mace is a 65 year old man in a 31 year old's body. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that would be very confusing to see. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude singing a song and some guy just pops into the fire for no reason. It's also no, much, much more, it's also a much easier game it. when you play it from this direction. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's kind of... Yeah. Oh, no. I don't know, if he's sitting in the middle of the woods playing music and he's probably on something. That was too confusing for me, guys. Do I go down or do I go left? I go down, right? It's gotta be down. Uh, no idea. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I think you probably go down and I'll have to go all the way around and then you can get up or something. I don't know. Let's see. You. I get to get. I want to say you have to get oh, behind I can him. Do that, Tyler. I have trouble getting up. It happens. It happens to the best of us, doesn't it? I wish, I wish we could all retire at age 32, Mace. That'd be awesome. Apparently, um. For some reason, our government is uh, slowly eroding the ability to ever retire. I wonder how they benefit from that. There ain't no telling sometimes. But yeah, I was just reading some article about how like pensions are going to go away or something. I don't know. It was scary. Yeah, I mean pensions have mostly gone away. But pensions weren't like a federal thing. They were supported by private companies for the most part, unless you unless you worked for a federal or state company. Then you might be on a federal one. Bottom Alright, Paul, I think. Let's see. Go down, and then right, and then up, and then left. Then down, and then right, and then right, and Thank then you. up. How did I not see that? No. Ow. I don't know. Oh. I was staring for a while, and I couldn't figure it out. Either. Oh, jeez. Beat yourself oh, up. Oh, that was very bloody. Achievement word. So by the way, what I ended up getting my daughter for Christmas was the Xbox One S with Forza Horizon 3 and the Hot Wheels expansion. Yeah, nice. Best Buy had that down to 200, yeah, which is less stuff. than their Black Friday price. Yeah, I saw that one. Didn't some place have it for like 140? Yeah, Target had a Target had a crazy sale, but you had to find it in stock. It wasn't just like oh. everywhere. Yeah. It's hard to find, but yeah, Target had a crazy price on it for a day. Somebody should have told me about that, but that's okay. Still, I mean, 200 is a very good price for what it is. The only thing is I downloaded, oh, yeah. like, I mean, I had some codes for her, you know, and I bought her a few games on sale. So, like, downloading all her games, including games of gold and stuff, she only has, like, 100 gigs left out of, you know, the original 500. 
Skullface's mom. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's like 500 gigs is not a good size for a system. But then again, most kids who received one wouldn't start out with as big a library as she has. Yeah. I'm pretty That's sure right. Forza is kind of like half the hard drive. Yeah, right there. it's like What's a 16 gig game on its own, I'm sure, at least. There's this console I know of that comes with a 32 gig hard drive. <laughs> Man. Built yeah, in. I heard about that one too. Yeah. It's okay, you can just get cloud storage. Maybe that's a good plan. Yeah, Lil Fryer, the, X, the Minecraft Xbox One S looks awesome. Yeah. It's just too expensive. Yeah, even for when it was what on it sale is. for 100 off, it was not competitive with the other system sales. No, no, but it got it's a on huge sale markup for, because of the design. I think it's on sale for 300 now. Is that just 100 off? Yeah. At least it's a one terabyte system, though, right? I, th- I think hope so. so. I don't know. It looks cool for sure. I agree with that. Yeah, I want to get the controller. I like the creeper controller. I don't like the pig one as much. Yeah, the pig one that has a carrot in the battery pack. Though. Yeah, I saw that on Reddit, and the creeper one has like the gunpowder. Yeah. Um, Pretty cool. I like that. Hey, Club and Casey. I feel like playing this game probably makes me look dumb, because I'm just no good at this kind of puzzle, period. I think you're doing fine. Yeah, it's not an easy game. And it's, yeah, it's a tough yeah, game kind of just to like, do other things as well. Yeah, like I'm watching the stream now, but I'm just doing that, like, the survival mode and racking up a ton of money. So I can kill this guy from behind or forward? Yeah, so what you want to do is somehow you need to scare him down, which you can do. And then you need to like get kill him from the left side so you're lined up to kill that dude at the top. Yeah, I just don't see how to get left of him. Yeah, me neither at the moment. Let's scare him. Wait, oh, that's how. Just scare him over to the left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're, we were that works too. It. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, a lot of these games, games like this, I mean it reminds me a little bit of Lolo, the old hmm. puzzle games on Nintendo. Um, but it's just trial and error, you just mess around and do different things and see how things end up. It's like, oh this helps me, you know, so you just kind of go through it too. Hey Lenny. Yo Lenny, good to see you. Except some of the, the optional, main, not the main story levels are kind of that difficult where you do have to overthink it because they're so ridiculous i think i've only beat one it was the first santa one so yeah the additional ones are tough ah she headbutted him let's get the cop yeah cup cuphead looks cool a little fair yeah. i should get that on steam and play it it doesn't have all I play, does it? No. But you might be able to on Steam. Yeah, I'm sure you can use tunneling software or something to do it. Yeah, I forgot that one famous one was called that we used to use for everything. The heck? Oh, Zero's played. Zero played Cuphead? Yeah. You should did zero. I agree, zero. Head. Yeah, it pretty much. No, was. It's great. Because it was made in the last ten years. So. You should stream it. I would watch that. I think zero. I think it's right behind Ori in the Blind Forest. Yeah, I want to play Cuphead. Ori's good. I liked Ori a lot. Yeah, I might go back and finish Ori sometime. Right now, I'm. Well, first of all, you know, using that external graphics card I got for my Ultrabook, I'm able to play Earth Defense Force 4.1 on my Ultrabook at work, and so I've been playing that some, you know, the PC version. Haven't been able to get Iki and Alejandro to play with me like they're supposed to, you know, because I got them copies so that we could all stream it. Long time ago, back when it came out. But... So you have to have a pretty good computer to run yeah, that, right? Yeah, I do. Unfortunately, it is not optimized well at all. And uh, But I am able to run it. You know, when I first got this external graphics card, I got the cheaper one out of the two that they offer. 
It's a hundred fifty dollar price difference. And if I was gonna write an actual review of it, which I don't, which doesn't look like is happening right now, but if I was, I would say buy the more expensive one because the cheaper one, it's like it's just not that powerful. But it is powerful enough to run the game at 720p with all effects turned off. <laughs> and so, I mean, there's only like three effects oh, to turn off. Period, because it's a Japanese game and they don't understand what PC gamers want. But. Well, no, because PCs aren't made for games. So everybody knows that. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, they're for spreadsheets. <laughs> yeah, that's what I use it for. It works. That's right. Run a thousand Excel spreadsheets at the same time. Brilliant. Um, yeah. Work documents, spreadsheets. I don't see how to get through this. I think you need to knock over the bookcase first and then scare the person into the side of the bookcase that's or something sure. like that. And using the killer codes to unlock killers, well, you also get achievements for doing that oh, as well. Oh, I forgot. I forgot Cuphead even had co-op. I would just play it in single player. Yeah, it's really fun in single player. When Tyler's friends come over and ask him to play games, he just says no. Just flat out shuts them down. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, none of my friends want to play Cuphead either. And you do have enough money now, Paul, to unlock oh, some stuff. How are... The unlocks are kind of not that useful. I think there's just, no. like, what, some, some skins, and then I don't even get what the gore things are, really. Like well, the, the gore things, I think those are just different... Different, ways like, deaths? Like, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought, but they're weird. Stat variety to it. But, yeah, I guess there's not... There's nothing too helpful. It's just to make the game a little more fun. Go. Like right now, you're playing as a little old lady. Like, come on, that's not even scary. <laughs> well, you're the killer's mom, and that's a Friday the Thirteenth reference because in one of the movies, Jason's mom was the yeah. killer, one of the early ones. Congratulations and hello, Ran. Hadn't said hi to Ran yet. Did I say hi to Casey? I hope so. All right, so. Uh... Hey, Ag Bavana. Oh, complicated name. Headbutt. Do I have to get a score of 25 in faces of killed for an achievement? I could have sworn I had that already. 25 what? If the in faces of killed, that's the survival one. You have to get 25 points. Um, okay, am I not able to get to the exit from here? I think I'm not. It doesn't uh, look like it. I don't think so. Drat. But I mean, does so leave the cop alive? Um, yes, that's what you just gotta do. Are you in the third movie? Yes. No. Yeah, this, it, you say this was a harder one? Yeah, it's called, so it's called two. It's the third one, but it's called two point five for some reason or something. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Um, it starts getting a little bit more challenging, for sure. But yeah, it looks like the cop is who you have to leave alive up there. If you can. Yeah, you should be able to. Just kill the kill the two in the bottom right corner first, and then go up and kill the top two. Um. Yeah, I would start over if you're still where yeah. I am, where I'm seeing you at. I'm not seeing. Where I am, I look like you were. Oh, no, 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 I see. Yeah, he has to kill the bottom right two first. Yeah. Then what? Oh. Then kill. Then just work your way to the top, and it'll work. Or do you have to scare the guy on the top? No, no he should be fine. Okay. I, I keep messing this up. Don't go down, that's my thing. Just stay... Yeah, exactly. Just, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, now you're screwed up. If you just rewind two turns, you should be fine. Three turns, four turns. Oh, start over. Five turns. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We got this. I think we gotta check if this is available on mobile, because this would be a good mobile game. Yeah, yeah it would be. I gotta think it is, right? Like, I mean, to me it feels like it, it's exactly what's made but it's for a mobile. it's a $10 game, yeah. right? It's Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, it's more than that. I think it's on oh, sale yeah, it's for 13 time. normally, that's right. Yeah. It's cheaper on PlayStation, I think, right now. Yeah, it's on yeah, it's, uh, phone for $3. $3, yeah. Yeah, it would be or fun to just pick up and play on phone. 
Yeah. What's a South Park game? Is that any good? That South Park Sound Destroyer game? Uh, I started it, but I didn't get too far into it. What does it play like? Uh, I don't even remember. I don't know. I don't play a lot of mobile games. Yeah, I've been addicted to Thumb Match 3 games. <laughs> ever since ever since I can't earn achievements on them oh. anymore. Yeah. Well, Sniper, uh, Hitman Sniper is free right now. That was pretty fun. Oh yeah, is that the old game? I, uh, I don't. They update it, so like there's a holiday okay. update now. All the guards are dressed up the same and stuff. Hey, withheld. Good to see you. Withheld finally made it to mix. Yeah, I've been playing. Uh, there's a game called Dead Trigger 2 That's pretty good. It's a zombie first-person shooter. Yeah, I still need nice. to try that. It's actually surprising. But... Or Oracle A or Clea. I don't know how to say that. One this game has been and has been enjoying it. There's definitely a lot of pop culture references for sure. They oh, are funny. Welcome. Yeah, it's it's a clever game. Yeah, no, I'm really glad we could have so many prizes for the holiday stream. And you know, at the very end, we asked everybody if they had gotten something, and a few people hadn't, and we dug up extra stuff for them because we wanted to make sure everyone got their due. Oops. One of the games you gave away <clears throat> was on Jim Sterling's best game of the year list. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, sexy oh, brutal. Yeah. I haven't yeah, played well, it. Since you got it, you yeah, try it. You. Bob Jones, I do not. Oh, there's no. No, oh, man. This kind of game, after a while, it just kind of makes my brain hurt. Brain just. Yeah, yeah that's totally a different mini game. Yeah, it's Very definitely a puzzle game. game. I want to scare yeah. someone into the furnace. Is that a thing you can do? No. Oh, dang it. So we can scare him up there. Yeah, a lot of time to find the answer, you need to like kind of work backwards and see where the exit is. And that would work right there. That's actually a good idea. What the? You just did. You just need to kill the other oh, two first. <laughs> She's trying to skate and she can't. So what is she going to do? <laughs> that is weird. Some of these are so <laughs> weird. <laughs> um, did, this is a mistake, though, right? I don't have a way to get back up to him. I think you're yeah. screwed, but yeah. Some of those are so strange. And it's not with every level, but I noticed a lot of levels, if there's a little cutscene with the death, that's usually the last person you have to kill. Oh, interesting. That's a good suggestion. I didn't notice that. I wouldn't have noticed that, but that'd be interesting. Scare him over there, so that that'll put me in the middle. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, do that. So kill those first two. And then I have to get up beside and him. Just somehow. go up. And... Yeah, just go up and right. And... Oh, you're just screwed. Oh no, I got it. Yeah, oh, did you? Uh... Nice. Um, yeah, Bob Jones, did you hear me when I said that I don't have a Switch, my son has a Switch? Yeah, but you're his father, so you can just take it <laughs> Yeah, like, if I really needed to play a Switch for some reason, I could take it so far on or something. Hotline Miami? Yeah, you know, I, I don't like Hotline Miami. I was watching Cleaner play it a long time ago, and it just seems to be mean-spirited to me. Like, this is actually funny. Like, Hotline Miami to me just seems mean. I like Hotline Miami. Just because of the gameplay, or do you like the atmosphere and stuff? Like eh, it doesn't bug me. That's definitely kind of like about a serial killer kind yeah. of guy. There's no, I mean, like, there's got to be some kind of humor to it to make it not be too gruesome for me, I guess. Ah. Uh, I don't know, that's pretty gruesome. Ha! Ah, she pushed something over onto somebody else all on her own, and there's an achievement for that. The hunger. Bionic Commando Rearm. They never played that <laughs> one, did I? Yeah, yeah I, you're right. It is uh, kind of like that, isn't it? It's real. I don't remember the. Do you remember I wrote? Was that the three D one, or is that the one where it's still like two D? Two point five D. But no. yeah, in case. I like the three D. Oh, you know the three D one. I tried it, but I couldn't get into it. Um, the I never story played is much it. worse for sure in the three D one. 
like in the t- yeah it doesn't don't you like fall in love with the arm or something or the arm has it's a personality his, like his own wife or they made her into the arm somehow yeah like, that's so dumb <laughs> oh, that's oh, now they're always <laughs> it's supposed to be a twist oh, but it's yeah. no that's what I'm gonna do if my wife dies I'll turn her <laughs> just take to a bionic arm I was thinking of oh. stupid stories and stupid stuff I saw the shape of water oh, you today. didn't like it? No, I mean I don't like movies like that, so it's not shocking that I didn't like it. But no, I didn't like it. It it uh it looks good to me. I would like to see it. Oops. I don't know. I shouldn't have done that. Let's rewind. Don't push that over on him. But there's no other way besides don't push her into the thing. I guess is that it? Yep. Too complicated, man. Yeah. So it was a. Mo- Sorry, Tyler. It was a monster movie. It's not really a monster There's movie. A monster in it. Yeah, I thought it was more of like a. Oh, man. That's why I didn't want to see it. Why is that, Bob? I thought it was like a, a romantic uh, movie. There like is a-, a romance in it. So I have to not push that over somehow. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah I'm just good. It's kind of like uh, a modern day Titanic. <laughs> yeah, I won't say too much about uh, I didn't really enjoy Wait, it. We're, we're coming here to watch some action of a ship going down and then just throw in a love story. <laughs> I think it's the first ben- or Benicio Guillermo del Toro movie I've ever seen. First one you've seen, period? Dang. Have you seen Hostel? <laughs> he didn't direct Hostel. I have seen he Hostel, like, actually, he directed for some the reason. Hostel. Right? No, he didn't direct Hostel. Hostel was Eli Roth or yeah. something like that. Oh, Some guy right. gets wang cut oh, off at right. the end of Hostel 2. I what I was yeah, I see, I just I want to see yeah. that, but I don't want to see anything else in the movie. So somebody make a cut of just that for me. Nope. It's probably not true. It's you would think, because I mean, you just don't you don't They'll see that in the movies. Oh. So. I, just I didn't know he wrote books too. No, I haven't seen either of those. Let's oh. see, he did Blade Two. Yeah, yeah, I Blade Two that. is good. It's the best of the three, I think. Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth is one of my uh, all-time Hellboy. favorite movies, and everyone should watch it. Good Hellboy 1 and 2. Pacific Rim. Yeah, I didn't see Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim, Rim was what? disappointing, because I'd read this review that really hyped it up, and so then I actually expected it to be really special, and it, it wasn't that special. Yeah, me too. I, I, saw, I saw PT. I watched someone play through PT. Does that count? <laughs> Yeah, sort of. Yeah, I guess so. Right? Yeah, me too, Bob Jones. The animated Hellboy movies are both great because they're they're more like the comics than the live action movies. That's the thing with the Hellboy live action movies. Although I do like the first one, is that they're not that Hellboy like. Like the he looks like Hellboy, and some of the things are there, but the tone and stuff are way different. Like Hellboy's supposed to be spooky, and the movies like the first one's a little spooky, and part two's not spooky at all. It's maudlin, in fact. Okay. Uh, I would watch both Hellboy and Blade. I just haven't. But uh, both those series seem interesting enough to me. Yeah, Blade's pretty... I like you the, like the comics, the age 12, but... The, like I said, the comics are actually really creepy. And in fact, here's something about the Hellboy comics universe, because... Hellboy's not the only comic series in in the universe created by Mike Mignola. You know, there's also um, Abe Sapien has his own comics, and then there's BPRD, which is about the organization that Hellboy works for. So BPRD is the main actual comic that gets the most stories and stuff. Like, it's over 100 issues. But anyway, in that universe, the apocalypse actually happens, and, uh, like, most of humanity is killed off, and there's just, like, giant Cthulhu monsters running around killing people and stuff. Like, it's super dark and gruesome, and it's like... I was really surprised that they would go there. It's, you just don't see that in comics. Like, imagine if all the DC comics were like that, and they didn't undo it, you know? And it just stayed that way, because that's what it's like. 
Don't they do that with the uh, Deadpool and they killed everybody? That's just a one shot thing. Like it's not in continuity. You know what I'm saying? Like. Oh yeah, I gotcha. Like an alternate. You know, yeah. Yeah. Universe exactly. thing. I don't. Do you want to? No, that's the only comic book I've even been oh, interested zero in. Zero used to read cool. Gru. That's different. I've read a little bit of Gru. It's you know, it's funny. I used to read Captain Underpants. I never really read comics. That's too bad. Uh, you know, comics are just like, just like cartoons or movies or any other form of media, in my opinion, or games. Like, I think there's comics out there that anybody would enjoy, but the question is, you know, getting them to actually look at them. Because they're not all superhero comics. Like, what I was just talking about, even though Hellboy is sort of superhero-ish himself, like, like I said, that universe is super dark. It's not a superhero story. Okay. I read Scott Pilgrim, I guess, oh, yeah, that counts as something. I actually watched both the Guardians of the Galaxy over the last week. Both the Guardians oh. of the Galaxy movies for like the them? first time. Oh. So, two is more entertaining than one, but I thought the ending was just kind of a elongated disaster. Um, so one has like the better actual ending. But I thought two was like more entertaining. So I, there was like one great. There would be one great movie if they combine both those things. But there are two pretty good movies. I think one is just about perfect, and two has more flaws. But I still like it. Yeah, yeah. Two, like as a movie, two is not as good. Like I mean, with the story and the plot and everything. But I thought two was way funnier and way more fun. Yeah. Well, they got a lot of the setup out of the way. I guess that probably helps some. Yeah, that's and that's generally the case, yeah. But I liked I think I probably liked two more than one. But I like them both. Nice. Glad you did. That's why you shouldn't wait a million years to watch things, Tyler. You should just watch them when they come out. Well, just wait till the whole MCU's done and watch them all. <laughs> that's right. Just here. over the course of a weekend. <laughs> yeah. Down up, left down. Okay. Wait. No. No, that's not right. There'd be no point. Down up wouldn't do anything. Yeah, maybe he was saying that from some point. I just hope they don't um, feel like they have to put the X-Men in episodes or in movies. Uh the newer character. I mean, it'd be nice to have them, but I just don't want them to, like, force them in if it's not planned. I think they'll probably end up integrating them in a clever way, but we'll see. Like, the Fantastic Four will be easier for them to integrate, but... Let's see. Boy, I don't know what to do. Let's try one of those hints. Just see what it's like. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I just got, like, five achievements just popped up. Wow, way to go. Yeah. Princess Bride's a funny movie. I like that movie. I think I've only ever seen it once, yeah, but I liked good. it. You've seen the Princess Diaries, but I've never seen Princess Bride. It's a little old. So you've seen Princess Diaries, but not Princess <laughs> oh. Bride. Princess Diaries he makes. You get that a, get that a really little backwards. <laughs> he probably saw it as a kid, hopefully with his girl cousins or something. <laughs> no. Uh, Princess Bride is an almost perfect movie, also. It is very good. Although I personally could do without the Fred Savage scenes. But uh, they're apparently the point or something. I don't know. I thought it was a little dated, but I like it. Oh. This music in this game is really good. Princess yeah. Diaries is the one with Anne Hathaway, yeah, right? I mean, Anne Hathaway is pretty awesome. There's no denying. Have you guys. There is. It's not good, but there is an upskirt picture of her. I mean, like, I don't know. She went to some kind of Hollywood event and she's wearing, like, a short dress and. She just plain forgot her underwear. You can find that online. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't think I've, uh, shouldn't be. That it's very up. skeezy of me to be recommending that. I'm just saying it exists. Do with that information what you will. I didn't realize you were recommending it. No, I'm it. not. Alright. But then again, no. We're not even going to have that discussion. Yeah, I don't. Oh, that's how. Yeah, Paul's breaking. <laughs> hey, Dark Six. 
No, I'm not recommending it. I'm just saying I read about it. Go to Paul's Facebook page for a link. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Paul tweets it out like every other day. <laughs> My secret. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm still something like that. No, you know, I really only have eyes for my fiance nowadays. But let's see. Push that over. Why would I do that? I don't know. Never heard of Colossal. Oh yeah, that's on Hulu, by the way, and yep. I really want to watch it. Colossal is a giant monster movie. So since you didn't watch Pacific Rim, I'm oh. sure you won't watch that either, Tyler. Oh, Street Cleaner. But this uh, one's like a. I remember. I think, is this the one where the lady's like a half monster or something? She. I watched Ten Over the Lane that had monsters. Oh, in she nice. like controls the monster, but she doesn't realize that her actions are the same. Yeah, as the and, monster. and nobody spoil right. it or anything because I want to watch it. But apparently, it's about like it's not just about the monster, but it's about like abuse or something like that too. So it, it has some good themes and it's a smart movie. I am told. She was in Mystic River. Can you prove that? Can you prove What's that? that? No. Well, then. Maybe she wasn't. She's in the day after tomorrow. Uh. <laughs> yeah, she was in Get Smart. That's what I most remember her from. I thought she was really good in Get Smart, which is a movie that should have gotten a sequel. Smart. You haven't seen it? Uh, I watched the old show with Don Adams or whatever yeah, his name was. Too bad, haha! I made a funny isn't here. He likes that. Wait, no, no, it was missed it by that much. Or I forget. What's the guy's name who has the Get Smart Avatar image? I have no idea. She was in the third Batman movie. Oh, Mystic know. Rivers for fancy boys. Oh, what, right. the, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> oh right, she was. Well, I like Mystic movie. River, so maybe I'm fancy. She's in that TV show, Shameless. Really? No, oh. I'm trying to get people to realize that I'm confusing her with oh, another nice. actress that looks yeah, like her. Because uh, she was. Lisa loves Shameless. I haven't seen it, but apparently it's something I would like due to it being all naughty. Yeah, apparently it is. I haven't seen it either. Show. Yes, it is. Mandate. I am. I am fancy. I didn't know mi what liking Mystic River made me fancy. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of excited about it. Okay. Yeah, you need to knock that thing down, I think, so you don't run into the fire. Which one? I don't. So, from the starting point, go down, left, up, right. Oh, thank you. Yes, that was the missing step. Yeah. Go up here, knock him over. <laughs> Ah! I haven't seen it yet. The the guy with the username that I would get in trouble if I tried to find it. So. <laughs> Shitsu on you? <laughs> Shitsu. Yeah, you just have to pronounce it like the oh, dog nice. name. So what's so good about it, Shitsu? Oh, okay. Oh, Sean Sig likes it too. Yeah, a lot oh. of people like it. I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah, it's just that Lisa's already watched like Doesn't the whole have thing. It makes me feet. feel, you know, she's all caught up except for the current season, I guess. Whatever's on Netflix, she's seen. So I just feel like I'm real behind. Oh, I didn't know it was on Netflix. There's like nothing good on Netflix anymore except for Netflix <laughs> shows. Yeah, Netflix is definitely letting a lot of licenses expire and stuff. Yes, they are. We've been watching a lot of SVU, but they're going to lose it on Sunday or Monday. Are they really? Yeah. Man, Netflix is going to be done. They, I mean, they produce a lot of good content. Yeah, yeah, they're going. They're going to try to maintain subscriptions with their own content going forward. Yeah. It seems like, like in two years, I bet that Netflix has almost no content that's not their own. I can see that. And then maybe Hulu can be like the other people content channel. Although I feel like ever more more big things like CBS or whatever just gonna start like CBS with CBS All Access and stuff and so then there's gonna be like Fox now and NBC always and I don't that know. stuff already exists doesn't it um 
I mean, they kind of do, but not as paid subscriptions. Oh. Like, kind of, we have the Showtime one. Yeah, because there's a Showtime one that does exist, and CBS has one, and HBO has one. And... Has... I thought. Uh, I don't think so. You just you get everything on there for free if you're a cable subscriber and have FX or FF, FXX, but I don't think they have a standalone subscription one. Stars has one, I think. Yeah, I hope Hulu stays that way, Brian. I'm just not so sure. Oh. Although I guess Disney now owns Fox and a yeah, lot so of Hulu. Less incentive to shut down. I mean, to pull their stuff off of Hulu, but we'll have to see how it goes. Yeah. PlayStation does have a free app where you can watch random TV channels. Like I was watching the Cat Channel the other day. <laughs> uh, we saw oh one God. that had Hello Kitty, like the old oh, Hello nice. Kitty cartoons on it. Your TV channel? I think it was called Pluto or something. Yeah, huh. that's on. Is that, I kept seeing ads for it all over. Pluto is on Roku as well. Yeah, that's pretty free. sweet. Yeah, I mean they're like they're not channels that anyone would actually pay for, but. Oh okay. Yeah, I like to have, like, The Onion has a channel. The Onion does? Oh, no, no, just right. Man, I gotta yeah. watch that. Yeah, I like that. I mean, it's good uh, for free. I, I use uh, Antenna in my house, and so, like, the alternate channels, the, like, CBS alternates and stuff, have good old stuff, like that 70s show and Frasier and some other crap. I don't know, but stuff that's, like, good mindless stuff to put on. I don't even think Antenna's worked anymore. I don't know if they do here. I remember there was a big thing like a long time ago where you can trade them in for cable boxes because they weren't going to work anymore. Well, yeah, you need the converter box because it went, oh, from, uh, it went from broadcast to digital. But most uh, TVs have that converter built into them now, so you just screw the little antenna into the back of the cable outlet okay. on your TV. Come on, Paul. Yeah, I was watching the Cat Channel the other day. They do like an hour of big cats just kind of laying around. Roseanne is on right now on the Laugh Channel, LAFF. I Lisa and I were watching that this morning. I don't know what the channel was, but... It's probably Laugh. Yeah, I am a cheap SOB, that's for sure, Brian. Oh, there's so much content out there. I have Netflix and Hulu and my friend's shared Voodoo account and a Flex account that has a few things on it. So it's like, I mean, I have enough to watch for the rest of my life already. Yeah, it's Are you sure that's enough, though, Tyler? And I don't watch any of it anyway because I play video games. Dang. Well, like. Well, I watch Paul. I I tend to I like to watch shows while playing games that are appropriate for it. So like I was playing Romancing Saga two last night, and I was watching an anime on Hulu called The Future Diary. And uh, that's a pretty good way for me to enjoy it because you know RPGs have a lot of mindless battles and stuff. You can totally yeah. pay attention yeah. to those. I can't do I, I do that, but I only do that with shows I've watched before, for the most part. So like, if I'm playing a game and watch, trying to stream something or watch something, it'll be like Brooklyn Nine Nine or The Office yeah, or works. Parks and Rec, something that I've seen a million times. Yeah, those are good choices for that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Roseanne coming yeah. back. That's going to be interesting. Um, oh look, Johnny I don't Carson see this hints featured channel. at all that you were talking about, by the way. Uh, but yeah, you have to push X. I think X just zooms it out. Um, why? Wait, which feature are you talking about? Oh. What? The hints. That takes me to... The... Hints? You press it... RB. Is it our options? Oh, yeah, you have to push forward. It makes no oh, sense. Yeah. Interesting. That's right. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe we should just look at the unlockables before we call it a night. Because i got to go check on Lisa in a minute. I was supposed to work today, but she worked for me. I mean, she's going to work for me, so I'm just going to... Say hi to her before she you leaves. don't have faces of killed yet, though. I don't yeah. know where... That must have unlocked it for like the third. I don't so know. A lot of those unlock achievements when you buy them. If you just want to buy some, I think they do, right? Yeah, a lot of them are achievements. A lot of mine didn't pop. One night, five popped up at once. They just popped oh. up. Late. Yeah, because Xbox doesn't know how to do achievements. <laughs> like they had everything working, they had everything working perfectly on the 360, and then they somehow broke achievements on Xbox One. Well, what they did was they. I forget. Somebody explained it to me a while back. They put them in the yes, cloud or yes, something. Yes, like that. So it, yeah. there's advantages to it, but it also makes it go real slow sometimes and stuff. Yeah. So, Especially in the winter when all the ice 
particles and stuff no, in the wanna... cloud. <laughs> <laughs> the Roseanne lore. What are gore packs? These are just the kills. Yeah, they're weird. Can... But it, though, yeah. Um, some of those give them give achievements if you buy them. Yeah, I think more of the gore packs give achievements on the killers. Yeah, it's, it's the gore packs that give, not the killers. So which... yeah, Although you, you can get... use kills. I mean, there's like once you're unlocking X amount of killers. Yeah, but you so just use kills for that. Buy, then? Yeah. I can't remember. I think most of them, uh, if not all of them. Just buy the one that's cost yeah, 666 that's and see if that gives you an achievement. Let's see. I just bought some of that, that game achievements. Staple to the Face, I think, was one of them. Staple to the... That's by Chocolate? I like that one. Man, that I can't one. afford Staple to the Face now. C-Flat Face, oh. Origami, Bald... There's some for a thousand, though. I mean, yeah, like... I can afford one thousand one, and that's it. Or a fifteen hundred one. Okay. F uh, the bonus. Maybe oops. F the bonus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure F the bonus let's was one. That. Double blind. Yeah, F the bonus definitely is one. It might not unlock right away, but it is one. Powers of a grenade in this ultra special mind. Bl yeah, there's the achievement. Thank you. But I wanted to watch it. Oh, you just have to enable it. Well, well you can view I it think too. You can watch it. Yeah. Okay. Watching off the bonus right. right now. Oh, put a grenade. Oh, mind blown. That was mind blowing. I like the Santa one that you had on the screen. Yeah, that was a good one. It was. Let's look at the frosty one too. The Death by Chocolate, I don't know if you saw that one yet. Yeah, didn't we play it? Ah I don't oh. remember. I know you did That's the gross. Um Oh, poor snowman. <laughs> That's funny. Snowman one. That's hilarious. <laughs> It's, it's a good, like, they're, they're wicked, but they're fun. Yeah, where did Death by Chocolate go? I don't see it over yeah. there. Oh. Cause... Uh, mine is at the top. Uh, I see, because you can go up and down. Oh, yeah, no. okay, one more time. <laughs> okay, that's weird. You threw a giant Easter egg filled with little birds. Hey, hey Adam won a copy. That's go cool. Adam! Yeah, because this is right up his alley. Except for all the thinking involved. Sorry, Adam. <laughs> what about this thing with the naughty list? Oh, it's Krampus. That reminds me. The movie Krampus? I don't like it. We talked about it before. Never seen it. I probably should, though. Yeah, I don't. Not my sort of thing. It got pretty good reviews, but it it's just not for me. Like, the ending, it, it has this unhappy ending, and, uh, like, really thematically, I don't think the movie is saying anything. Like, it's certainly not saying anything worthwhile. It, I mean, it has themes, but, like, they're dumb. So. Oh, look up how you unlock faces of the kill real quick, because that's a really yeah, fun. Okay, do that. You're saying you could just put in codes somewhere and you'll unlock more killers? Where do you put them in? Yeah, it's in, in the main game. Pause menu when you're playing. I'll have to do that later. You can do it in the menu too, I think. Yeah, some. Oh, can you? Yeah. Somebody was saying that the achievements are pretty easy on the whole. I, I mean, like, oh, what's this X button thing? I mean, you can just use a guide for. Um, as a puzzle game, yeah, most puzzle games you can just use YouTube to get 100 on. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how to actually unlock that. I wonder if it was from one of the uh, the codes. Well, that would be neat if it was. Well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have it open. So, so remember, guys. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Slayaway Camp, $13 on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. It's also on Steam, but it is on sale this week. So if you didn't win it, make sure to pick up a copy. Thank you to Digirati for their generous donations. They really helped to make our holiday stream. And these last few streams we've done a lot better. Next week, I think we are going to do like just kind of a random indie Xbox One game. I want to stream some Romancing Saga 2, but it's just a little slow because there's so many fights. So I don't know how I would do that. Maybe just like a, a slow day midweek stream or something. And... Uh, I, I still have one job, you know, because I always had two jobs, and I lost one. I still have the other. Um, and yeah, oh yeah, I, I apologize for not doing midweek streams last week. Like I said, it was kind of a rough week. There were some ups and downs to it. Like, I wanted to work... I mean, Christmas night I would have streamed, but then I had to work. I got called in. 
and besides that, just uh, wasn't in a real good streaming mood, unfortunately. Although the party was nice and Christmas itself was nice. Oh, who's Zero talking up? Oh, <laughs> slightly above average stream. He's talking us up by saying that. We appreciate that, Zero. It's good to have you here. Ah, Alejandro, he should have been here too. We miss him. Did you have fun, Tyler and Bob? Yeah, had a good time. Yeah, I like this game a lot. It's a lot of fun watching hey, too. Yeah, I'm glad having my co-host be so knowledgeable about it. That that definitely made for a better stream. And thank you, Brian, for running the contest. Great as always. Yeah, good to see you withheld. We appreciate you tuning in. And Lenny, of course. <laughs> nice to see you all. All right, uh, we love you guys. Make sure to join us next Saturday, and uh, hopefully I'll find a I'll find the time to do a midweek stream at some point. So we'll catch you all later, and whatever you do, don't hate, appreciate. See ya. Bye. Have a good night. Not all. I'll hold the little SOPs. Well,